Hey guys, we're back finally with day four of index card a day, which is a two month challenge to create art every day on an index card. So I'm starting out with a gessoed surface on my index card and I'm just taking a piece of acetate and some handmade modern, which is a target uh, brand of acrylic paint in the color slate. And I'm adding a little water to that on my um, acetate sheet and I'm gonna smoosh it around on my index card. And I added water because I really want a light, subtle layer of color. I'm just gonna go in with a second layer to get a little bit more of those color variations along the background. And then I'm gonna go in with some Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals in two different teal colors. And I'm gonna do the same process, add water to the pigment powder and then smoosh it using my acetate sheet on the index card. I'm gonna dry the first layer and then go in with the second layer. This color is Tibetan Poppy Teal and it's quite a bit more, has more blue in than the first color. The first color went more green, so it's a, a nice variation of color. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna make sure that's completely dry, and then I'm gonna run an anti-static tool all around the index card because I'm gonna emboss with this stamp by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. It's like a rose cluster. It's designed by Kat Kerr. And I'm using some extra fine embossing powder by Recollections, which is a Michaels brand. And I'm just gonna melt that embossing powder. I'm really still trying to stick with the simple um, cards, the simple easy cards, because I'm quite a bit behind now. Um, but I'm trying to catch up. I have, I think, 13 videos to edit. So um, this is a Finnebar, Finnebar stamp with the Letterit ink by Ranger in the shadow gray color. And um, it's just like a script. And then the other one is like little dots. And then, so here I have some die cuts that I cut out on my um, Cricut electronic cutting machine and I don't end up using this but I let it I left it in because the um, die cut that I do end up using I assembled in a similar way so I I cut out two different um, cuttings of the same size and I inked the first one with a gray distress ink and the second one with cracked pistachio and then I'm just gonna layer the cracked pistachio layer on top or letters on top of the first layer but slightly offset so that gray peeks out like a little bit of a shadow and the reason I chose um, thank you as my die cut is I was so overwhelmed by all of the comments that you guys left on my last video where I was explaining a little bit of my health situation going on. I mean, I was tr I couldn't believe all the comments and all the support and I was just really overwhelmed and I wanted to make this card for you guys as a thank you. So that's why I chose the thank you. And I'm just going to set that on my card and then I realized that, I don't know, I didn't, it didn't stand out enough for me. So I have this other thanks die cut that the gray got a little lighter for some reason. I guess I didn't layer it on quite as thickly. So I'm just going to use um, that one instead. But I want to pop it up so it has a little dimension. And I'm just using some of that craft fun foam. You can get it in the kids craft section of Walmart or Joann's, Michael's, any craft store, anything like that. And they do have some that has adhesive on it. And mine does have a sticky adhesive on one side. But um, you have to glue the other side down. And now I have some of these clear droplets and I'm just gonna layer them around. I love using them. They're such a nice subtle little touch and um, I think it adds just a little something extra to the card. So like I said, this one's for you guys. I really, really appreciate all your comments and I'm back. I'm feeling so much better and I, like I said, I have 13 videos to edit and i um, gonna try to get them out every day. So Please stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this one and thank you so much again. Bye-bye guys.